In this video, we will discuss the sequential definition of the limit of a function. Before watching this video, you should read section 4.1 up through at least example 4.1.3. Our discussion will focus on definition 4.1.1 and requires that you understand the definition of a convergent sequence, which is definition 2.1.2. We'll first motivate the notion of the limit of a function via a wonderful picture. Shown is the graph of a function f along with a limit point c of its domain. We want to know where the function will take domain values close to c. We will call this value l. Here we see a guess for l displayed on the graph. To investigate the limit of the function, we need to pick points in the domain of f that get arbitrarily close to c. This sounds like a convergent sequence. Here we see a few terms in a sequence x sub n that will converge to c. Finally, we see that from the domain sequence we can construct the range sequence f of x sub n. We would like to show that this new sequence converges to L. Our formal definition of the limit of a function is as follows. Let f be a function from a to r where a is a subset of r and let c be a limit point of a. We say that the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals l if for every sequence x sub n chosen so that 1 all the terms are in a, 2 none of the terms are equal to c, and 3 the sequence x sub n converges to c. Then it follows that the sequence f of x sub n converges to l. So in essence to show that the limit of a function is the value L, we will need to show the convergence of a particular type of sequence. Before we go on to an example, we want to make a few comments to bring some important points to the forefront. The first thing to note is that the point C is a limit point of the domain A, but need not actually be in A. The second thing to note is that the sequence x sub n is an arbitrary sequence in the domain which converges to c, but no term in the sequence is actually c. Third, the sequence f of x sub n is a sequence in the range which is obtained by evaluating f at each of the terms in the sequence x sub n. Since each of the terms in x sub n are in a, the range sequence is well defined. We will now move on to examples of how to prove a function has a particular limit. In the first example, we will show that the limit of the function f of x equals 2x plus 3, as x approaches 1, is in fact 5. We will first outline the ideas needed for the proof, and then provide a formal proof. First, we will pick an arbitrary sequence x sub n with the properties 1. Each term in the sequence is in R, since R is the natural domain of F. 2. No term in the sequence is 1. And 3. The sequence x sub n converges to 1. Next, we want to consider the range sequence f of x sub n and show it converges to 5. First, we see that f of x sub n is equal to 2 times x sub n plus 3. And the distance between f of x sub n and L is the absolute value of 2x sub n plus 3 minus 5, which is the absolute value of 2x sub n minus 2, which in turn is 2 times the absolute value of x sub n minus 1. Since the sequence x sub n converges to 1, we know that for any epsilon positive, we can choose a capital N in the natural numbers such that the absolute value of x sub n minus 1 is less than epsilon divided by 2 for all n greater than or equal to capital N. With this choice of capital N, we have the absolute value of f of x sub n minus L is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. This is exactly what we need to conclude the sequence f of x sub n converges to 5. Now for a formal proof. To show that the limit of 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1 is 5, we first let the sequence x sub n be an arbitrary sequence in R with x sub n not 1 for every n in the natural numbers and the sequence x sub n converges to 1. Now to show the range sequence f of x sub n converges to 5 we let epsilon be positive. 
since the sequence x sub n converges to 1, there exists a natural number capital N such that the absolute value of x sub n minus 1 is less than epsilon divided by 2 for all n greater than or equal to capital N. For all such n, we have through direct calculation that the absolute value of f of x sub n minus l is less than epsilon. Therefore, the sequence f of x sub n converges to 5. And thus, by the definition, the limit of 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1 is 5, completing the proof. For the next example, we will show that the limit as x approaches 2 of x to the fourth plus 2 is 18. To do this, we need to show that the values of f of x approach 18 as x approaches 2. For this example, we will not use the definition of a convergent sequence as in the previous example. We will instead use the algebraic limit theorem for sequences, which is one of my favorites. If x sub n is a sequence converging to 2, then f of x sub n is equal to x sub n to the fourth plus 2. And the sequence x sub n to the fourth plus 2 converges to 2 to the fourth plus 2, which is 18 by the algebraic limit theorem. Now for the formal proof. To begin, we let x sub n be a sequence in R with x sub n not equal to 2 for all n, and the sequence x sub n converges to 2. We need to show that the sequence f of x sub n converges to 18. Observe that f of x sub n is equal to x sub n to the fourth plus 2. It follows from the algebraic limit theorem for sequences that the sequence x sub n to the fourth plus 2 converges to 18. Thus the sequence f of x sub n converges to 18 and so the limit as x approaches 2 of x to the fourth plus 2 is 18 as desired. And thus endeth the lesson. <laughs> and thus, ta-da, fiend, end scene. And Dr. Pons is looking for something. You know that would be so funny if you didn't record any. Of okay, mic check, one, two, testes, testes, one, two, Three. Give me a countdown. From three. Three. You're not supposed to say the two and the one. You're supposed to do it with your hands. Three. No, that's just crazy. I don't want to do this. I need a cookie. Special guest recorder, Dr. Robert Allen of the University of Wisconsin at La Crosse. Dr. Allen, take it away. <laughs> yeah. No, don't keep that. No. Okay. I don't like this. Hi, Catherine. I hate this, by the way. Um. Okay. Well, we're gonna do it.